Hi, so then this video, I'm going to be giving the first of several tutorials on drawing trees. Now, a lot of these tutorials are just going to be about different technologies that we can use to create trees because we're doing so much virtually these days and we're handing in assignments online. Um, it, it makes things a little bit trickier because linguists are really used to doing things on paper. And I think that is always the place to start because I, I find that's the most intuitive way to draw trees is just take out paper and just start drawing tree after tree after tree. Because the more you practice it, the easier it gets, the more instinctual it gets. I'll give some later tutorials, other tutorials and other videos about how to take those trees that you've learned how to draw and upload them to assignments. For now, I wanna walk through how I would take a sentence like this one. So the sentence is that creepy guy followed any student with a backpack and how I would take that and analyze it into a syntactic structure. So the first thing we always do is just label parts of speech, lexical categories. So we start with the determiner that, we've got an adjective, creepy, we've got, oops, adjective, we've got a noun, guy, we've got a transitive verb, follow, we have another, determiner right here. Now, any may not be at the top of your list of determiners, but I want you to notice that it is because, of course, it's interchangeable with the, right? So you can substitute the for it and you can substitute it for the, giving, giving you a good a evidence that this is, in fact, a determiner. All right, then we've got another noun, student. We've got a preposition with. We've got another determiner, a. And we've got backpack, a noun. Now I find for some reason, it's easiest for me to begin right to left instead of left to right. And I often find myself looking for some of the major categories. So I look for noun phrases to begin with. And at the end of it, I see a noun phrase right away, a backpack. That's a pretty good one, easy to identify. We know that's gotta be a noun phrase. Right in front of it, we see a preposition. Preposition plus a noun phrase gives us a preposition phrase. And then we see that noun right next to that preposition phrase. Now we need to think a little bit more big picture. Is that preposition phrase modifying that noun or something else? Well, it seems that it's modifying the noun. It's student with a backpack and Looking at the larger sentence, that seems to be right. Now we could run our phrase structure tests to, to confirm that, but I think it's a pretty good hypothesis. And we know that there's an adjunct rule that a noun plus a preposition phrase gives us a new noun. And of course, then we see a determiner right in front of that, which gives us a noun phrase. Then we see a transitive verb Transitive verb takes as its complement a noun phrase, meaning that we get a verb phrase right here. And since we know this is a sentence, then we can predict that what comes right before it is gonna be a noun phrase. So we see our noun, but we also see an adjective right, right in front of it. And that's another adjunct rule that we combine an adjective and a noun to give us a new noun, creepy guy. And then a determiner plus a noun gives us a noun phrase. And finally, noun phrase plus verb phrase is a sentence. 